All right, so I want to talk a bit about mono teams and just the whole meta at the moment and how I personally don't like it for certain reasons, but I think the meta in like in a nutshell objectively is really good, but there's problems with it because of how they do the metas and how especially at least on JP. It could be different on global because of banner releases being much different and people having information Obviously, because we have our little, um, well, obviously we are behind. So we're obviously going to know what units do what and if they're going to be good months in advance, right? Before they come to global, which is a good thing. Now, on JP, the problem is exactly that. We don't know what's going on. So, for example, when William came out, he came out after Mario, right? Or I think it should have been after Mario Leona. This, uh, do I have him? No, I don't. Not on this account. I'm getting him. I'm getting him right now. But this William came out after Mario Leona. And I'm like, okay, he has to be crazy. He's going to have insane speed. And then he would have been super good, right? Now, the problem with him is that he's blue. Okay, blue and slow. And for that meta specifically, it just didn't work out. You got to know why. His damage reduction came last. He was the last person to use his skill in the whole turn because he, he's had a, a hundred speed. He's at 100 speed. So he's the last person to do anything. But Mario is turn one comboing with William. Like you go here, Mario 88% combo, 88, 89% combo with William's 40% defense penetration. So what is William's turn like last damage reduction gonna do? Because the defender William is only attacking after. So I'm like, okay, well, this William kind of sucks. But then, right? Because the main problem wasn't even like for luck, right? Because usually you are using luck. Um, but if you're lucky, if you have Charlotte Max Stooped, which it's still kind of rough to get Charlotte Max Stooped because not many people summoned maybe on this banner or wanted Charlotte Max Stooped, and I don't think it was too worth it. Um, it's like you wouldn't really have many things to counter Mario doing damage, right? Because luck needs the counterattack turn one. But if you use this William, it's just not good on Mono Blue. But this William didn't work at the time. And then Charlotte would need to be used, but she's only good to give luck damage reduction. And then everyone else is taking so much damage, right? So there were problems. And then comes along this Noel a month later, which is rough, right? Because Mono Blue is usable. If you have Noel Max duped, if you have luck two dupes, if you have Zora with this skill page, hopefully Max duped also, everything is going to work. But it's just so much investment on a team right? That's not even going to be meta. Meta, like it's not the best team, but it's so much more investment on units that all came out recently. If you look at it on global, we're getting three of the four units like in the next two months. You, it's basically a whole new team that you have to build for it to work. And the problem with this is, especially at least on JP, it's like William comes out, but then the team won't even be meta until a month later. So William is useless for almost the first month. I just don't really understand it. Like, yes, you can use Charlotte, but Mary Leona is going to destroy, especially on global. Like, in the higher ranks, it's just going to be very difficult to run Mono Blue. And that's going to be the problem with it. And then you got to go to the other teams, right? Mono Green, Mimosa unusable off of Mono Green, same with Vanessa. And then Rail 2, Zora, you can use off Mono Blue. Just looking at all the units, every single one of these works better on Mono teams. So it doesn't allow for a very diverse meta, and it's a very competitive field in meta teams because you're competing to be in that slot. But there's always certain slots that are taken up no matter what, and they don't release too many DPSs anymore. And that's just becoming a big, big problem. Like, it really doesn't make sense to me that Spirit Dive is also being forced to be on a mono team unlike every other fest before i mean asta mario and julius all work off mono teams right mario and asta even if they work on mono they work off mono but that's not the case for you know so they really have to fix how they're gonna go ahead and do this in the future and obviously i should explain like what i think personally they should do and it's really i okay mono teams are not bad because i'm having fun with the meta but the problem is the meta isn't going to be balanced because of the fact that Mono Blue is a whole new team when people are way more inclined to summon for Mario and Asta. And then off of that, they're going to build either Mono Red or Mono Green. And then Mono Blue is going to be left in the dust because why would you build that if you already have Black Asta at like 90k CC? And it's like, oh, Real comes out. Why would I go for Noel if Real's right there for free, right? So 
it's just, especially in the free to play lens, people could do what they want, right? But they're going to mainly do the thing that's going to be easiest to them. And they're not going to go for a full new three units in most cases, build them up, have to dupe them out, especially Noel, especially Zora. And it's rough. Okay. And then you also got to consider luck just came out, but luck is great at two dupes minimum. And then you need every other mono blue unit. It's a whole new team that's starting right now. And that is bad for how this game is constructed because of the fact that many people, at least free to the place, they're not going to be summoning on every single banner. They're going to be saving. Okay. So you're going to have to pick and choose. So mono blue, a team that actually does work is completely forgotten. Okay. That's the main point. So what they should be doing is making these units runnable off mono. Noel is sometimes runnable off mono, but it's just, why would you run her when Summer Ghost already exists? Where's Ghost? When Summer Ghost already exists, right? He also gives different stuff that might be better. So there wasn't really a point there. So I, I think they really got to consider making a lot of these units viable off and off, uh, off and on mono teams. And to do that, honestly, I feel that they might want to start straying away from the mono passives or, or what I would say is even better is that for the passives, my personal opinion is that on mono, you get a buff and off mono, you get a different buff. So you choose between the two buffs because we've seen so many units get these types of things, including let, let's just go to Zora. Okay. On mono blue. He gets 15 speed. What if off mono blue, he got five speed or he got 30% damage reduction, right? Do something like that so that off of mono, they could still be runnable and not be forced to be on mono because of the fact that, sure, Zora is good off of it. But let's say, for example, a different unit. Um, who could I pull up? All right. Um, okay, I'm just trying to think because we could say, okay, we'll go for Vanessa. We'll go for uh, Vanessa. So a whole part of her passive is locked behind mono green okay so because of that wouldn't it be good if you would be more incentive more, people would be more incentivized if there was two ways to run this unit by having two different passives right by giving it two different ways so on mono right you give um immortality and off mono maybe you give the defender like 30 percent damage reduction or 50 percent defense or increased attack right so stuff like that to make it that all these mono units are not relegated to only mono. And further than that, you could see the ones that aren't like, or that you could run off mono, at least like Noel too. She doesn't have a mono passive. It's either don't have a mono passive or be so oppressively strong that you're still runnable off a of mono like Charlotte and Zora. That's basically how it works. Because if we go to the tier list, right? And we go to the PvP tier list. Look at this, right? This is basically like just the mono units. I feel like luck could be higher. Luck could be like these two. I could see being higher, honestly. Um, if you look at it, mono green, mono red, and also uh, fuego, which is with Mario, right? So it's five out of six is for mono red. Four out of four is for mono green. And then all of this is basically mono blue. And then the only other team here that's meta in this case is the William Mario fuego combo, right? So you know, because of that, you don't really like looking at these units. I don't see any way you're running Charmy, you know, Rill, Mimosa, Vanessa, um, William, Noel, Noel, Luck. I'm not counting these two. I think they could go to B even. No, well, he's, he's still A. Um, Fauna, Rill, Vanessa, you know, off of mono teams. So because of that, just imagine how restricting the meta is, which is why I think if the, the easiest way, easiest way that doesn't buff the unit in a way is just make it so that they might get two buffs, one on mono, one off mono. Okay, that's what I'm personally thinking. Let me know if you guys think that would be good, because this way they're not going to say they're not making the unit even better on mono teams. They're just making it that they're helping out the unit when they're not on the mono team that they're supposed to be buffing. Because as of right now, it makes it that people are only going to be summoning for the units that are going to help out their mono teams or are just so oppressively strong that there's no reason not to summon for them. Okay, that's basically how it's going to go for the future. And I think if they want to make it that people are going to summon for a lot more units because if you like real is really good, but he's kind of relegated to just being on mono because he's not really doing too much off of it, right? Um, 
I mean, it's he does quite a bit, but it's just like off model he's not worth it, but on model he is right. But if you look at it, like Vanessa, Mimosa, William could be very good units, but off model they're very good units on their teams. But off model it's just rough, right? Vanessa's amazing two turn in vulnerability, but it's just not working out because she's not gonna have the defenses off the of mono in some cases. But like it could work for Vanessa, it can work. It would just be a very very like you would put Vanessa with almost a full mono green team either way. So they kind of gotta balance it a bit better, I think, because these are the next units. And then after this, I just hope that it stops being like this. But we'll have to see. I think that they're really sticking to the full mono type of thing. But no one like. It's so off balance because who's going to summon for a full new a mono blue team when you already have mono green or mono red, right? So the two main problem problems is really just one that there's not many reasons to summon for a lot of new units because of the fact that it's only on mono, right? That's a huge thing where it's just why would you summon for it if it's on mono, right? A lot of these units lose their value because they can't be used off of it. And I mean, that's horrible. It's like the, there's two, the two main problems kind of like just coincided with each other because like, okay, um, not good off mono, but also the new teams are just, you won't even see value till like a month later. So it's like, okay, why would I even summon for it, right? Because it just doesn't give me the value I need. So I'm just not going to summon, right? And then even at that, the value isn't good enough to warrant waiting a month in the case of like, like, okay, William's really going to shine once you get Zora and Noel, but you're waiting a week after William at least to get Zora and then another two, three weeks to get Noel. It's rough. And then you got to build all of them and put so much time and investment. And it's like, bro, come on. But anyway, just to end it off, um, I'm starting to build Mono Blue. So my Noel is getting her HP sets. So I got it fully transcended on the rectangles and I'm like, I got this piece. I got the uh, transcended version of this, which is very good for 20% damage reduction when she's above 90%. And remember, she's a healer. So she'll be very good for that. Um, I'm considering max duping her with uh, this, but I'm also like, I don't know. I, I just, it's a lot of dupes. Four dupes is quite a lot, but um, it would give 30% crit res, which is insane. So we'll have to see. But yeah, I haven't done any of the substat upgrades because if we look, I don't have much to actually do it with. Um, so that's why I'm going to start building it soon, soon enough, not yet, but I will soon. Cause like I could get this probably to like 150 K HP at the moment with all the, with the scope page, she's at 140 K HP. So we're going to try to get it close to 200 K by the end. That's the goal. But yeah, no, I'm really, I like mono blue. It's just, why would I tell people to summon for mono blue when it's a full new team, when mono red or mono green works just as well? I don't get it. I don't get it. But yeah, we got Zora. Um, and then William is the one we're missing. Do we have luck? We do have luck. Oh my god, I got scared. I was like, no way we don't have luck. But I need to get him to two dupes also. Like, bro, this team is so much work. And it's not even as worth it, but it's so fun that I want to do it, right? So that's my main point. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you agree with my points. Peace.